If you're picking up an M1 Mac Mini, you're going to need to purchase your own monitor. And in today's video, I want to take you through some of the types of monitors that are a fantastic fit with the M1 Mac Mini. Now, a few nerdy things that you may wish to know about the M1 Mac Mini and its display capabilities, you can get things working perfectly fine with a HDMI display. And that's what I personally use with my M1 Mac Mini. I either use my ultra wide, which supports HDMI, or this little 24 inch monitor that I have next to me that also supports HDMI. Something you may not know is that with the new Thunderbolt 4 connection, you can use a single Type-C cable to transfer large amounts of data, including sending an image to a high resolution display. So if you're looking for the ultimate M1 Mac mini Apple experience, you may wish to go down this route, although it may be a bit more expensive. I first want to begin with some affordable, well-priced options. If you are a casual user, your Mac mini is a home computer, you use it for web browsing, emails, or just simply for college work, a 1080p LED monitor will provide you with pretty much everything that you will need. You will have enough screen resolution to focus on a single task at a time, images will look crisp, and you won't overspend on extra pixels and pro features that you don't require. A personal recommendation which I have been using is this Samsung 24 inch 1080p LED monitor. It has strong vibrant colors, VESA mount support allowing me to attach it to a monitor arm on my desk or as you can see this monitor wheel stand for portable use in my studio. For most people 24 inch is a good enough size and as it is a smaller screen it will appear sharper to the eye as if it were to have a much higher resolution due to the pixel density. But if you're going to be spending extended hours using this screen a larger 27 inch monitor may be preferable to help reduce eye strain when reading smaller text. If you are a professional using the M1 Mac mini as a daily driver workstation I highly recommend considering an ultra wide display. This style of screen allows you to multitask with ease using multiple programs simultaneously. And if you deal with a lot of documents such as spreadsheets, you will appreciate the extra screen real estate. I personally do not recommend getting a 1080p ultra wide display. I think at minimum you should consider a 1440p resolution for your ultra wide. Obviously as the size of the monitor increases, 1080p will reduce in sharpness because the pixels will become larger and with 1440p you have a higher pixel count per inch so the pixels are smaller keeping the image extremely sharp and very versatile in terms of screen real estate. If you are a designer the higher pixel count provides extra detail when working zoomed in. Now you have to be aware when buying an ultra wide not to overspend on features you will never need for a Mac machine such as G-Sync, FreeSync and crazy high refresh rates for those more gaming spec displays. I use a Philips 34 inch 1440p ultra wide which was only 309 pounds. Very reasonable price point for a good quality ultra wide monitor. Its color accuracy is good, a little bit on the warmer side but works for me. Now if you're looking for something a little bit higher end for your ultra wide, I highly recommend taking a look at LG. They have a plethora of different ultra wide monitors both from the lower end all the way up to the high end professional that has literally no compromises on the color accuracy and feature set that you would wish to combine with your Apple computer. For the ultimate experience, an Ultra HD monitor is the option to go for. If you are a graphics designer, video editor, photographer, or you just want to treat your eyes to the luxury of 4K, there are some amazing options and now more than ever, high quality 4K displays have a more accessible price point. To get the most out of 4K, I recommend getting at least a 32 inch display. This will allow you to truly benefit from all of those extra pixels. If you are a high end professional and you need no compromises on your color accuracy and performance of your panel, BenQ have a fantastic range for graphic designers, along with Asus who also have this art series that has insane color accuracy at a variety of different price points. I do hope that this video has helped you understand the different types and categories of monitors you could possibly combine with your M1 Mac Mini to help you get the most productivity and performance for your workflow when you end up creating your own setup. Now I'll link all of the different products that I've mentioned down below in the description if you want to learn more about them and help support the channel. But more importantly, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing for more videos coming like this in the future.